Hello Internet. This is an update regarding Nexus VR Character Model version 2.1, which I've been posting a bit about on Twitter, but not really a huge amount. A lot of the changes have mostly been internal to the system, rather than OSE as, as groundbreaking of a change as version 2 was. Now, to start, I'm not in a normal test map. I am in an old version of Ultimate Driving that 22 pilots gave me about 5 years ago. I'm not sure how to out of date it is, but it is fairly out of date. So with, there are a few things that are a bit different. For example, I'm here in VR with, with R15. And if I go into first person, there's something a bit different. There is a Tesla right there. This is a free model with some minor modifications for the demo. Now the going over the update, so there were some changes that were made since the last video for example some people have been confused about how you open and close the menu this hopefully should help those who are confused this was this is currently in version 2.0.1 as i've released it so the major changes that have been made are to smooth locomotion it is a fundamental change of how it works because the implementation before wasn't really great it was very limited which smooth locomotion is this, in case you weren't aware. I've, as part of this version, I've moved to using humanoids instead of my own custom implementation, which means a lot of things. For example, jumping now properly follows what Roblox uses, and also collisions properly work. It's not the best experience if you walk into a wall because your character might rotate, which might cause a bit of motion sickness, but at least you're colliding instead of going straight through the walls. This also has some improvements to vehicle seats, in this case. If I can actually get in, there we go. Now, vehicle seats kind of worked in version 2, but I never actually really validated them, so they had some problems. For example, if you had the teleport mode, if you tried to, oh, say, use the left thumbstick to do anything like steer, you just instantly teleport out because that would invoke the, the teleport uh, mechanism. But now that's changed, and also seats are better implemented, because before if the seat were to rotate while moving, it would cause problems. Now that's actually properly addressed in this version. I've also modified this free model to use the screen from self-driving simulator, so it actually kind of looks like an actual Tesla screen. It's very out of date, it's missing a lot, but still, it works. But for the demo, it works. And what follows is going to be me driving for a little while on this test map. The reason that I basically chose to use this map over really anything else is because it has a lot of cases that caused problems before with version 2. Like hills, for example. I'm already rotating quite a bit around the car as it moves with the suspension. And the character is, or the camera is properly rotating as it suspends. The, the older version didn't really handle this that well. It kind of did, but it wasn't ideal. The implementation this time around is much better and is much more feasible for an actual car type system. As you can see, I just went down that hill and the camera is properly following. I'm turning a bit and that is properly being affected and I'm about to go uphill and the camera is properly turning and I can move around as I normally would. The main reason that I have been focusing on improving vehicle seats as much is I want to see a driving game use Nexus for your character model by the end of this year. It's currently April. So I'm hoping that somebody might be able to uh, figure this out, possibly. Because there's no driving games or Roblox that support VR. And with the current state of Nexus VR Character Model version 2.1, this should be pretty much ready to use for any type of driving game with maybe some minor integration for things like the user interface for selecting cars. In terms of when will this be available, the beta release for this is actually already out. If you have an existing game with the beta, which is which you'll want to see the developer form post about how to enable the beta, 
or you add the loader to your game and you activate the beta yourself, you will be able to see this version as is. I'm hoping by the time of this video that it'll that I'll be releasing this as the main release within a few days, which means everyone will have it. But that might get hung up. I'm not sure. This I was hoping to get this up to about two weeks ago and then one week ago, and that didn't really happen. But considering that it's in the state it is now, which is me properly driving a car, for example, which wasn't really working before that elegantly, I'm pretty confident that it will be out within a few days. So, I don't think I have much more talking to do. I'll be driving a bit more just to show that this is properly working in this game. And if you are a game developer that is interested in either the new beta or this in general, the link to developer form post about this is in the description. I will be updating the original post of the thread as well with this because it hasn't been updated since, since the initial release several years ago. Yep, there goes the car onto the curb. So that is pretty much the end of this quick demo of driving. Hopefully some type of driving game exists in the near future that actually uses Exosphere character model is maybe a bit better to control than that was because it wasn't really meant for VR, but it does work. So that's it for now. Keep an eye out on Twitter for when I actually publish that version 2.1 is released rather than just the beta. And hopefully things are smooth from here. So long, everyone.